everyone, welcome back to Bochina and Bochina.com. In today's DIY tutorial, we will be going over two fun macrame projects to do while you're in lockdown or when you're bored. As some of you who follow me on Instagram may know, I recently got engaged and because I got proposed to, I was going to propose to three of my girlfriends and ask them to be a part of my bridal party. So I did make three gift boxes to get them with. And in each of those boxes, I did include a small handmade macrame gift that I made for each one of them. So the first one is a feather curtain tie. The second one is a beaded tassel keychain. Both of these projects we will be going over in today's tutorial. And the third box is a flower coaster. And that will come in a separate tutorial later in a week or two. So both of these projects that we will be going over today are super fun and simple to make. All you need are some beads and some cord and you're ready to go. And because the holiday is coming, these also make super great gifts to loved ones as well. Make sure you guys do watch till the end since I do have a special announcement for you guys. And with that, let's begin. We will now begin our first project, the curtain tie. We will be using 4mm cotton cord for this project. You will also need 26 large hole beads of at least 4mm hole to fit through the cord. Here you will see a 4mm single strand cotton cord in milk white from our rainbow cord line. We will be using this cord in this color to make the curtain tie today. Not to mention the cord is soft and sturdy and very easy to work with. To begin, we're going to take the longest strand of cord at 340 centimeters long, fold it in half, and we're going to start by threading through some beads. To do this, we're going to wrap one end of the cord with some tape so that we can thread through the beads easily. Then begin threading through the beads for a total of 14 beads threaded through on this longer 340 centimeter long cord. Keep going until you have 14 beads threaded through. Now we're going to take the shorter strand of cord at 120 centimeters long and repeat the same thing by wrapping one end with tape and then threading through. Instead of 14 beads this time, we're going to thread through 12 beads. So two less than what we threaded through last time. Now that we have the beads threaded on the shorter cord and on the longer cord, we're going to place the shorter cord within the longer cord. And then we're going to use the longer cord ends, which should be on the far left and far right, as working cords for several half knots. The shorter cord ends should be the anchor cords on the inside the entire time. Continue the half knots in the same direction and as you make several of them, you'll start to see a spiral form. The beaded handles at the top here will form the handles for the tie itself so that you can place the leaf on the other end through it to tie the curtains. 
Also, if at any time you are unfamiliar with any of the knots used in the tutorial, you can check out my step-by-step -step knot tutorials on my Bochi Knot Macrame Knot Series playlist, or you can check out my 50 Knots and Senates tutorial that goes over these knots as well. Continue with the half knot spirals until you reach about 11 to 12 centimeters left on the outer cords. Once you've reached the other end, we're going to make some square knots with some shorter strands of cord to make a feather or leaf at the bottom here. So you're going to take a strand of cord at 22 centimeters long and you're going to fold it in half and place it underneath the bottom fringe part and then take another strand of 22 centimeter cord, fold it in half and place it on top in the opposite direction. Then place the cord ends on both sides through the loops to tighten. Then take two more strands of cord and repeat it in the opposite direction of what we did above. Continue alternating these square knots until you've made a total of eight square knots. Once all eight square knots are attached, all we're going to do now is comb through the fringe and trim the fringe to your desired shape and size. I'm going to shape mine a little bit more round rather than long, but I'm going to make it into a shape of a feather. This part might actually take you the most time. If you're finding it hard to just freehand cut the shape of the feather or leaf, all you have to do is cut another piece of cardboard or just thicker paper or even just a paper tracer. On top, cut out in the shape of the leaf and feather that you want, place it on top and just cut around that. Then you can just trim the feather and leaf afterwards. Once you're done cutting the shape of the leaf, this is what the end result will look like when you tie this onto the curtain. All you have to do is place the feather through the beaded rings and you are now complete with this pattern. The second project we will be making is a beaded tassel keychain. We will be using 5mm cotton cord for the actual tassel and we need some 1mm or 2mm string 
for the beaded part of the keychain. So what we have here is a 1.5 millimeter two ply cotton string and this is also a part of our rainbow cord line. The color of this roll is natural. The 5 millimeter cotton cord here is in buttermilk beige and it also comes in nine other different colors and as you can see here the purple, the aqua and the camel color are a few other colors that we have. And then you will also need some beads and a swivel key ring. If you are interested in these materials, I'll post links to them in the video description below. To begin, you will need three strands of string at 30 centimeters long each, and we're going to tie an overhand knot on one end. Then we're going to tape that top end down so that we can make a braid. Taking the three strands of string, we're going to make a three ply braid all the way to the other end, leaving a few centimeters of space. To make a three ply braid, all you have to do is continue alternating each strand of cord. Continue until you've reached the other end with about 3 centimeters remaining. Once you've reached the other end, tie an overhand knot as well. Then take off the tape and we're going to weave this braided pattern through the swivel key ring. On one end of the braided pattern, untie one of the overhand knots. Then we're going to take some tape and tape the three ends together so that we can weave some beads through. Thread through a total of 8 beads. Now what we're going to do is untie the overhand knot from the other end of the braided pattern and we're going to weave it through the key ring again and then this time we're going to make a large overhand knot with both ends of the braided pattern. Make sure that there's a little bit of room above the overhand knot in between the beads and the overhand knot so that there's space for where the tassel is going to go. 
Then we're going to take six strands of five millimeter cotton cord and place the key ring on top, ensuring that the overhand knot is towards the center of where the cord is at. Then take a few of the five millimeter cotton cords and place it on top and on the side of the keychain. Then take a strand of string at 15 centimeters long. We're going to tie a double overhand knot in the space in between the overhand knot in the middle and the beaded section. So in the space that we had left from before, in between the beads and in between the large overhand knot, that's where we're going to make this double overhand knot. Now we're going to fold the top part of the fringe from the cord downwards to meet the other half and ensure that they are evenly spaced out. We're going to trim a little bit of the string inside. Don't trim it all the way just yet. We will do that at a later time. Once the top part of the cords are folded down, this is what the pattern should look like. And now we're going to take that 50 centimeter string and we're going to make a gathering knot just below the large overhand knot in the middle. To make a gathering knot, you will need to take one end of the string and make a loop and hold it with one hand. Then take the longer string and wrap it around the gathered cords several times. Once you've wrapped it around several times, we're going to take that long cord end and weave it through the loop that we made in the very beginning and then pull on the top end to tighten the knot. Then you can cut off the excess cord. Now this part is fairly important. We're going to pull on the vertical cords underneath the gathering knot to straighten them out and hide the string from underneath. Pull on the string in the middle so that it is nice and tight. And then once it is hidden within the tassel, we're going to cut off the excess string in the middle. Ensure that the cord from the top of the tassel are nice and even. Now we can cut off the excess string in the middle. Comb through the fringe of the tassel and trim the very end of the tassel to your desired length and so that they are even at the ends. And you are now complete with this beaded tassel keychain.
and that's a wrap with the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My favorite part of it was probably the beaded tassel keychain. I really love anything with beads and tassels. And so having that on a keychain I think is really unique. And it's also something super practical since you do carry your keys around with you everywhere. So I do have a special announcement for you guys. Starting towards the end of next week, we will be kicking off our 12 days of macrame Christmas. So for 12 consecutive days, we will be posting 12 macrame Christmas tutorials. Not all of them are going to be Christmas holiday themed. It's more around the idea of small little handmade gifts that you can gift to your loved ones, just like the tutorial today on two smaller macrame projects. You will get a variety of different projects. Some are Christmas themed like ornaments, some are just little handmade macrame gifts that you can put into stockings for your loved ones. I'm particularly interested in what smaller projects that you guys want to see in those 12 days of Christmas too. So if you guys do have any ideas or something that you want to see made, into a tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Bochi.Macrame and stay tuned for the 12 days of Macrame Christmas because that will be coming very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.